Peace from Nomad. Welcome to How I Became a Successful Reseller So Far, Episode 6. In this episode, I'm going to take you through a full day of what it's like being a reseller. Um, and uh, I pretty much started the day off by packing boxes, mailing boxes. I made a trip to the Nike outlet to do some sourcing. Went and had some lunch, hit up Walmart, um, stuff like that. So stay tuned and without wasting any more time, let's get into this day busy day so far <sighs> yeah um, dropped off two packages earlier today to the post office and I have four more to drop so I sold some size 11 Ugg boots and uh, what I did was I wrapped them up and I folded the bag and what I did was I cut the size of the box down so that way I could uh, kind of make the box you know, kind of fit the, the pack, the package, and I don't get charged for an extra size box that I don't need. So, uh, I'm gonna fold it down, check it out, check out how it does. So, not perfect this time, but you know, uh, this is the box after I fold it, and I will plaster that bad boy right there from UPS, and uh, I'll stick my label inside. Make sure you guys find it up. So, so let's see what we got here. I sold a, a Nike jacket I got for about 25 bucks. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I made it. Nice little fit on it. These are some um, some Air Max camo I sold on a Goat. I paid yeah, about 35 bucks for them. And uh, here of um, black Ugg boots. I really let these go for cheap. I could have probably made a lot more money on these. Um, but hey, you know, I'll, uh, I'll get them around and sell them for the right price. And then uh, one last package here. Uh, this one is another pair of uh, Air Max that uh, I sold for about 75 bucks free shipping. I got them at the store for 30, 30 bucks. So, I mean, not bad so um after doing all the packing and mailing today and uh chatting with some of the other fellas that i um just recently got acquainted with um i decided to go hit the outlets so i'm gonna shoot back up here and see what yeah. i can find i want to catch it before the city shut down again never stops let's see what we got Never fall under pressure or switch up topics Change up styles or compromise the fly shit When you got it, you got it and you always got it But practice makes perfect, that's all day logic Stick to your guns, the regular objectives Get the funds, the rest of a project kid who had none And still ain't got much, but giving my all I'm trying to get to the top for once Thought it was a pat on the back, but I stuck a passion Nicotine where it was that So here it is Outlet again. See what I can find. I got a feeling they're gonna shut that city down soon, man. So, and plus, it's dead middle of fourth quarter. Almost last weekend, November. So, just trying to get these things going. Hopefully, we find something good. Let's see. Like a Reddit thread at Mach 10 uh, I keep the dreads boppin' uh, The new moons out and about, out and about. Uh, Beats and rhymes I keep a rock uh, I never stop, hexagon clock uh, Life's a hexagon clock uh, My soft blue hexagon clock uh, Days are going so fast So, grabbed a bunch of stuff at the outlet Spent about 900 bucks, man um, I didn't really want to spend so much back there, you know, I didn't mind, but, um, you know, I'm trying to make sure that I'm straight in case everything shuts down again. So, over here at Walmart right now, get some boxes. I actually came for the larger medium boxes, uh, but I don't see any. So I figured I'd grab some more of the small ones as well, some more tape, um, heavy duty. Um, doesn't necessarily need to be the most expensive, you know, heaviest tape. This one here seems to do the trick pretty well. Uh, four roll for ten dollars can't beat that. It's not bad. So, um, just gonna go grab myself a little something to eat, man, and head back home. Show you guys what I bought. So, I'm back from the outlets now, and um, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. 
Um, first, I'm gonna start off with these Air Max. What do you think? So the Air Max Plus 10 SC. Um, retail is about one. It says retail is 170, and um, after all discounts, this cost me 45, 48 each pair. Um, I got picked up five. Um, I also picked up more of the Texas Air More Money. Uh, picked up three more pair. Uh, I probably should have grabbed a few more, but I didn't want to, you know, um, I didn't want to have so many of these things because, you know. And then some Air Max 98s here. Uh, I picked up five of these here for women. And those are pretty nice. So what I paid for these is uh, for the 98s after all ta uh, taxes and all discounts, these cost $52.48. And uh, the air more money after all discounts, it costs forty-one ninety right now. Retail on the air more money is one sixty. Retail on the um, the Air Max ninety eight is one seventy, and uh, retail on these are also one one seventy. Yep, one seventy. Um, I bought some pair of Jordans. I don't know what kind of Jordans these are, but you can't go wrong with a pair of Jordans for twenty seven dollars. It was like twenty three or twenty four bucks. I'm not sure what they are, but. Authentic joy, they can't kick her wrong. Then I also picked up some real nice cleats I came across. Um, probably out of season to be trying to buy cleats right now, but these are really nice, and I think they ended up coming out to like 26 bucks. And uh, retail on these are let's see, 80, so not bad. Um, all together, after all discounts, it ended up coming up to right around $890 after taxes, it ain't bad. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make it back, but as um, soon as I walked in, the first thing one of the guys said to me, one of the guys that recognized me, he said, um, hey man, you're here on the right day because uh, I think we're about to shut down pretty soon. These are the rumors. Um, oh, also, let me show you this. So I picked up about five of these raincoats here. People were flipping out, going crazy over these raincoats when I was in here. And uh, retail on these bad boys are, I think, about a hundred and see, hundred and forty bucks. After all discounts, I got them for about thirty-three dollars each. So it's pretty, pretty nice, nice raincoat. Um, I saw a couple on eBay that recently sold for about a hundred dollars. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice dry fit. I think I'm gonna keep one for myself. So I got a few gray and I got a couple black as well. But yeah. So for 890 bucks, did pretty well. Anyway. The black one. $49.97, it was 30% off. Large. I got some triple X, double X. But yeah, I'm in the store, man. I'm watching pull the racks out and I watch people start flipping, going crazy over these things. So I said, let me grab a few. I looked on eBay, had some good sales on it. I said, why not? Hey, can I give you another quick tip real quick? Invest in the stock market. I do own several shares of Nike stock and I have for years now. I'm not just spending money at Nike. I own shares of stock at Nike. I'm invested. I'm invested in more than one way. Um, I do own shares in a lot of other stuff, by the way. Um, I have a lot of shares of Disney. I watch a lot of Star Wars, Disney movies, and things like that. I buy Disney toys for my, my daughter because she watches Disney. So I invest a lot of money in that as well. Um, and, you know, a couple of other companies, like, uh, you know, but, uh, yeah, invest your money in more than one way. Anyway, back to the video. I want to thank you guys for checking out the video. Um, peace from Nomad. And if you're getting into this game, I wish you the best of luck. Peace to everybody out there watching. Please subscribe. Drop a comment below. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And um, for the last time, I will finally go and groom. I got to shake myself up and do the whole, you know. And uh, because I'm
become a little more presentable for the channel. But yeah, like I said, man, I just wanted to keep myself accountable. I made a promise that I will go ahead and upload and do something as much as I can every day this week, regardless of how I felt about whatever was going on. You know, the house is a little mess or whatever, but it's fine. You guys will get to go back, you know, maybe two years, three, four years down the line. You get to come back and look at this video and say, dang, look at that. You know, it was a lot of progress. So um, here it is. And um, all music produced by me. And um, look out, I got a Christmas project coming out soon. Enjoy. Peace.